This guy is fantastic. He's originally from New York City, and now he lives here in Kansas City. Give it up for my friend Ron Reyes, everybody.
applaud you, and I'm serious about that, because I salute anyone who will part with a dollar in this economy for entertainment. And there have been worse economic times in American history. But I will tell you that this is the worst time in American history to be broke. And the reason is, in no other period in history, during the Depression, they didn't have nearly the stuff that we have to buy. In the Depression, they didn't have plasma TVs and smartphones and cars you could talk to that would go backwards and park themselves. <laughs> All they had in the Depression was a can of beans. <laughs> but you're partying with a dollar for entertainment, man. And you don't know how special that is. But I'm going to tell you, entertainment is so tight, there are actually people maybe some even in this room, that will sit and watch other people play cards on TV. And I'm thinking, how hard up are you? Don't you have a dollar for a deck and four friends you can call? Watching people play cards can't be that much fun, because if it was, why are you here? drive down to the Isle of Capri and stand behind someone. <laughs> of course, I can't do it because I'm Puerto Rican. And I would lose it, man. I'd be like, yo, this guy over here got a full house. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Keep playing. <laughs> I've given up trying to explain that I'm Puerto Rican out here, by the way. I was doing a show in Nebraska. And I told them, I said, so folks, you know, uh, I'm Puerto Rican. And they were like, no, seriously, uh, it's like a, an island in the Caribbean, it's like Puerto Rico. <laughs> I had a pretty decent show. I bet you the next day, half of them went, it was a Mexican day. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's entertaining. Thoroughbred racing. That's fun. Horseback ride. I don't know why they interview the jockey afterwards, though, like he had anything to do with it. Do you watch the Belmont? Hey, we're talking to the, here we are with Javier Vasquez. Javier, tell us about the race. Well, you know what happened was uh, the door opened, the bell rang, and then he ran out, and he was running, and now uh, he's a horse! I go where he goes! The whole time I'm just thinking, don't throw me off, don't throw me off, don't throw me off. Mexicans have a job, man. They're not stealing jobs. You can't do that. In Jockey Land, you're a giant. But in New York, they were actually trying to lower the size requirements for firemen. Because apparently some of the little guys don't want to be jockeys. They want to be firemen. Because little people say, we have a right to become firemen. And I'm thinking, no, you don't. Because the last thing anyone here wants to see when they're on the 70th story of a burning building is some half a munchkin come running out. Follow me, follow me. I know the way out. We can go through the pipes. <laughs> oh, you guys have lifted up my spirits, man. Because this is my dream. I must say, this is my dream. But I was going to give it up. But then I saw the Justin Bieber movie. <laughs> now, let me tell you folks, there is nothing as uplifting to the spirit as the story of a man who had to struggle every day of his life until he was 14 before he made more money than anyone in this room is ever gonna see. And the little jerk had the nerve to name it Never Give Up. And it's in 3D, so I gotta watch the stacks of money going, look at it. Been an awful lot of fun. Thanks for indulging me.